You're listening to Interactive Wrestling Radio, featuring the interactive interview, courtesy of WrestlingEpicenter.com. Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to the Impact Wrestling Press Pass podcast. We are coming to you live from Samstown here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Ross Foreman, and I have a special co-host today. We have no Josh Matthews. I don't think anybody's upset about it. I upset about <laughs> And I get to welcome the lovely Taya Valkyrie. Taya, welcome to the podcast. Hey, guys. What's going on? We're super excited. We have some very exciting guests for you. Muted. The recording well, with has that started. Said, uh, uh, Taya, let me, uh, let me bring in a little update. This Thursday, uh, Impact, we go... Uh, the show is originating from here at uh, Las Vegas. We have Brian Cage defending the X Division title against Sammy Callahan. Mm-hmm. Matt Seidel in a one-on-one non-title bout against your husband, Johnny Impact. Well, you know who I'm going for on that one. <laughs> Third eye or not. Third eye or not. I don't care. It's always Johnny Impact. <laughs> Clearly, there is no uh, in-between on that one. Uh, KM and Fala Ba will look to impress the smoke show. Scarlet Bordeaux. Mm. I think it's going to be a tough match because they step in against the tag team champions, LAX, Santana, and Ortiz. It's a very, very interesting matchup. I'm excited to see that one, too. <laughs> uh, you certainly know a lot about uh, LAX. What, did, does Cam and Fala, do they have much of a chance, Taya? They have spirit. They All have right. spirit on their side. You know, you never know what can happen. This is pro wrestling. Um, but LAX, I mean, you know, they're the best in the world right now. Other than maybe these two people that are in the room with us right now. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that I think might eventually take their spot. But, yeah, no, LAX, uh, LAX, their Santana and Ortiz are awesome. They bring absolutely everything that is Lucha Libre combined with um, the pro-, pro wrestling style. So um, that will be a very interesting matchup, and you don't want to miss it this Thursday on Pop. Also Thursday on Pop TV, Sue Young in action. Kaya, oh, you're right. uh, your – Shall we say your arch rival these days? Tessa Blanchard will be in action this Thursday. Mm-hmm. And we will hear from Eli Drake, who's just... Ah, again. Again, he's angry <laughs> with everybody. Uh, so we'll hear what the latest on his lawsuit is uh, Thursday on Impact. Uh, Taya, let me just ask you, before we uh, bring in our guest, Vegas, you've been here for a few days. What do you think? Well, it's treated us very well so far. Um, it's a little colder than I expected. I was here a few weeks ago with my girlfriend, and it was not this cold. So I was absolutely taken aback when we, when we got here, when Johnny and I drove here from L.A. Um, but Samstown has treated us very well. The crowds have been amazing, um, and we've renamed it Slam Town Casino. Or, uh, well, today's the last day, but... <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, it's been awesome, and uh, I'm excited for us to come back. Probably coming back in the new year. We are uh, Impact Wrestling. will be back in Las Vegas, February 15, 16, 17 of awesome. 2019. A few other bookkeeping notes. This Monday, November 19th, VIP tickets for Homecoming will go on sale. Uh, go to impactwrestling.com for that information. All tickets for Homecoming will be on sale in two Mondays, so that would be November 26th. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, homecoming, November, I'm sorry, that would be January 6, 2019. Yeah. Uh, back in Nashville, where it all started. Back in Nashville. I mean, I've only been to Nashville once, and it was so brief for a wrestling show, so I'm excited to spend a few days there. Um, one of my very good friends, Mackenzie Mitchell, our backstage interviewer, I spent a lot of time there, so I'm excited to check it out and see what it goes about. So is, uh, just between us, is, uh, is Mackenzie going to take you around town? Are we going to get to follow that? I don't know. Thing? What do you guys think? Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we not? On Twitch? Live on Twitch? <laughs> oh, I don't know if we could do it all live. All live? We no? some of that <laughs> oh, come on. We'd be fine. No, I'm excited. I, I haven't spent some, some time there. And anybody that has spent time in Nashville has always spoken so highly of it. And uh, obviously that's where all of this started. So it's, it's cool to have homecoming, homecoming happening there. All right, Ty. Well, I don't want to keep these two guys waiting any longer. I know uh, they're chomping at the bit. Let's they are know. super excited. <laughs> We have uh, the Lucha Brothers with us. Uh, we have uh, Phoenix and yes, Pentagon. Welcome to the Impact Wrestling Podcast. Thank Press you. Pass Podcast. Thank you, sir. We are excited for start here at Impact Wrestling in Las Vegas. Yes, thank you, everybody. Uh, everyone heard the podcast. Uh, just the Lucha Brothers, be ready here. Just 
know. <laughs> well, Ty, let me ask you. you. You certainly know these two guys uh, uh-huh. very well. Uh-huh. Uh, talk to us about what you know about them in the ring and what you see My and what, what they're like. Uh, uh, they, they've, been, they've been obviously brothers, but they've been friends in the ring, but they've also been enemies in and the rivals. ring. And rivals. Um, well, yeah. uh, a lot of little known fact is that we all kind of started at AAA around the same time. They were there first. We could not communicate with each other at all. We did not, <laughs> did not speak any Spanish. They did not speak any English. Um, I will say that we have all come a long way together, and it makes me so proud to watch them um, thrive and grow on Impact Wrestling and that everybody is seeing what I've always known about them is that they're two of the best in the world. So. <laughs> yeah, they're my family. I mean, they're um, part of my wedding party. They're two people that have watched over me. Um, or the better part of my, I don't want to say better part of my life, but better part of my wrestling career, and uh, I wouldn't have had it any other way, and I'm very, very proud of them. So That's the way our family, just, it's my Canadian sister. Uh, <laughs> she Ahora es mexicana, ya. Now it's Mexican. Mitad, <laughs> half a Mexican, half a Canadian. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. uh, no, little, little yeah. American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. No, I, was, uh, I just wanted to throw it out there. Uh, for you guys, what's it like to be, Brothers in the ring, because you know, it, you know, it's one thing to be a tag team partner with somebody, but if uh, if you're gonna trust somebody and know what they're gonna do as a tag team partner, okay, just when we start uh, we career, uh, we saw like tag team. Uh, Sometimes we have uh, singles uh, matches. Like we tell we're businesses, uh, we need to be professional. It's like if tonight I need a video, just I look into video. Like because this is uh, my profession, you know. Just just I look for for be the best at my profession. Yeah, and I don't care. It's my brother, and I know a hundred percent he don't care too. Just like we wanna do one of, of the best matches every time. We wanna be better every time, every match. Just in if if prone to me, it's my brother. Like I'm sorry. Just just one match. After the match. We are family, we are brothers, we are uh, family, we are, uh, he is one of my best friends, it's not, not my brother, Is one of my best friends, it's my teacher, he teach me a lot, Pendulum teach me a lot uh, in the life and professional wrestling, and it's the person behind Lucha Brothers, just every idea, uh, every move, every idea in my mind, or in Lucha Brothers' mind, just Pentagon try to think if, if it's better, if what is better, if it's good, or what do we need. If when we want to do some moves or we want to do uh, special things for wrestling, just I think uh, I think Pentagon is like the the big mind and Lucha Brother. Ah, uh, yeah. No, no, no. But, <laughs> no, no, no. But he's giving me real dirty yeah. looks right now. He's giving me real. <laughs> uh, just is that the I I, I put the ideas on. Selection, you know? I will say that I think that these two, um, every time I watch them live, and I've been watching them live for what, um, almost seven, eight years you now, um, really do evolve and change and try to make something different for the fans all the time. And the chemistry, obviously, that they have as brothers outside of the ring is so evident you know, in the ring as well, and they just feed off each other, and the chances, the chances that we do have to, to train together and different things like that, and they're the first people, especially Pentagon, mm-hmm. I'm looking at you, uh, <laughs> will always be the first one to tell me, you know, like, give me constructive criticism or help me, and so is Phoenix, and um, these two are great, and I, I'm just very proud of them, too. Well, be- before we uh, jump into Pentagon, and uh, uh, I do want to tell media, we're going to open it up momentarily for your questions, uh, but Pentagon, I want to ask you, when you step in there, you look across the ring and you got Phoenix as your opponent, but at times he's also your 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 partner. <coughs> What's it like for you? Okay. He's gonna are you gonna answer in English or Spanish? In Spanish. He's gonna answer in Spanish. <laughs> which is why we have Taya here. Yes. Translator. Yo disfruto el el face to face contra mi hermano. He really loves having face to face like uh, confrontations with Porque his brother. Right? El, el me hace sacar el 200% de mi capacidad porque él me conoce el 100%. Because he really takes, you know, um, God, translating is hard sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you can't translate directly. Because he brings out the best in him. And, he you know, um, 
instead of 100%, he's giving 200% because his brother really knows him and knows every facet of his of his, you know, um, arsenal and everything. So he really has to bring it 120 billion percent. Y ahora que somos tag team, eh, creo que somos el tag team más completo. And now that they're a tag team, they feel uh, he feels that they are the most complete tag team that there is right Porque now. Porque contamos con un estilo totalmente diferente. Because they have a different style. Yo. Both of them yeah, we equally are. different. So when they combine the Phoenix style with the Pentagon style, you have a different package that you will see anywhere else. Y eso juntos. And that together. Hace, <laughs> hace que nosotros seamos una pareja totalmente distinta a todas las yeah. que hay y que seamos la pareja más completa y más fuerte en el planeta del wrestling. And with the combination of their two styles, that means that they are the most different and complete tag team in the entire wrestling universe. Yes. All righty. Well, media, we're going to open up for... Uh, any questions you have? We have uh, obviously Pentagon Phoenix. You can ask Question questions. for Penta in Spanish, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure we will get something in Spanish for you. We'll uh, figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> and certainly if you have questions. I think someone needs to offer Pentagon some more English lessons. <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Me too. <laughs> uh, Taya is here as well for questions. So, uh, media, uh, please identify yourself, your media outlet. Star six to get in queue, and one question and one question alone. But please uh, make sure you direct your question at uh, who you want it answered by. Q&A session has started. To ask your question, please press star six. Hi, this is Nick Hausman from Wrestling Inc. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to chat today. Hello. 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 Uh, now, I want to ask Pentagon a question here, but I don't speak Spanish. Is that still okay? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. I'll translate it back. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate that. Um, I wanted to know how Penta felt about his Impact World Championship run. Uh, it was kind of brief. I didn't know if he had any thoughts on it. Como te sentí cuando tu es tu campeón y como... Todo fue muy, muy corto. ¿Todo la verdad? <risa> <risa> muy contento, muy... Eh, quiero regresar a, a ser campeón. Estoy buscando uh -huh. la forma. Ahorita quiero ser campeón de pareja de Impact, pero en un futuro quiero ser campeón de completo. He felt very fortunate and very happy with it, although it was short, but he is looking to go back to being, he would love to have an opportunity to be champion again. Um, but right now his focus is on the tag team title with his brother. Yep. Awesome. Uh, and Ty, I guess I can ask my weekly survivor question. Is it going to be bad around the house if Johnny turns on Christian? Because it's going to break my heart if that happens. I have always said <laughs> no spoilers about Survivor, okay? So uh, we'll you guys all have to tune in on thir on a, and on oh my god I can't even my brain's fried Wednesday. right now on Wednesday on CBS and check out what happens this week on Survivor but I will not divulge any information. <laughs> hey hey Nick, uh, are you sticking with Final Four? I mean he's in the power seat here right now. The Goliaths literally are stomping up and down the the beach yard right now, controlling the place. The brochachos, you never know what's gonna happen, right? <laughs> Well, I just, you know, I, you know, you gotta, re I relate to Christian a little bit. It would break my heart here if they turned on him. He fight, he seems like he's finally found friends in his life. No, he seems. I, have, I've never met Christian, but hopefully I will one day. And uh, I guess you just have to tune in on Wednesday and find out what happens. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, Nick, what do, you, what do you watch first in your? Uh... DVR, Survivor or Impact? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for you know, thankfully they're on different nights, but my Wednesday schedule is packed right now. Um, not that anyone on this call cares, but yes, it's very busy. All right. What, what, do, you, what do you think, Taya? Could Phoenix or Pentagon survive on Survivor? Uh, to brother, the, the uh, I don't know. Dilo, dilo, güey, que es tu hermano preferido. Dilo. No. Quiero escucharlo. Quiero escucharlo. Dilo. Well, Pentagon thinks that Phoenix. Who did you say, I just no. Pentagon, Pentagon thinks my, that my favorite is Phoenix. So, but that was not. No fue la pregunta. Pero que el di lo que él fue. No, Yo no, quiero no. Irlo, es es quiere está preguntando si ustedes se oyen bien 
en el programa de televisión Survivor, como lo está haciendo Johnny. El, el que es como el exatlón. Mm -hmm. No, gracias. <laughs> There was so John. Manda tu Pentagon, hermano Pentagon, favorito. Pentagon, Pentagon, Pentagon is like, ah, uh, no. And, uh. I'm no, I'm good in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> But everyone's asking me that. I'd be, gra I'd be great in wrestling. Too. Me preguntaron la misma cosa. And I, no, they asked me the same question. And I also say I would not be good. The survival show is so amazing. But, but hard. I think it's hard. And it's, uh, example for rel I think it's more hard for wrestlers. Like, because you have long time before and and the rain and the uh, injuries everything and you need to be more and you strong. can't eat yeah, it's cold yeah, yeah, yeah. all this and i love and that. you have to be away from yeah. your wife uh, oh, and, and I, I, love, <laughs> <laughs> i love the food and i i love meet my family just i love pro wrestling i think survive is not for phoenix hundred <laughs> percent not for phoenix and pentagon but but i like watching el mexico a mí me ofreció el exatlón really es, es como Uh, and in in Mexico, they offered to um, for him to do a, a similar type show. Yes. Um, but he. The name is Exatlan. Exatlan. Yes. Exatlan. 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 And, and he said no. Son tres meses y. Yeah, it's a lot of time. Yeah, tenía you, you need to be long. Yeah, yeah. That's a three, and in Mexico, it's three months. Which and is three months. Three months. months yes. Yeah. Which is a lot longer. And, you know, working. John was money, John right? was away for eight weeks. So. You know, rental, no make money, just no thank no you. No sell merch. No thank you. And I will say this: these two are the top T-shirt sellers and merch <laughs> guys in the history of Laurel. If I go to an uh, an indie show and I don't have my merch with me, they they uh me very badly. No way. <laughs> no way. No. No, I that's not. That's true. <laughs> Mick, thanks for calling in. Oh, my pleasure. I got so much more out of this survivor-wise than I could have possibly imagined. This is great. <laughs> I, I just want to know, about, what, you're on the Survivor beach. You barely mentioned yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's a So we gotta move on, Nick. Yeah. Sorry, Nick. Next. Goodbye, yeah, we're going to request you. Goodbye, Nick. I can't your good question. Bye, Nick. Uh, hi, this is Ian Carey from SE Scoops, and my question is for both brothers and Taya as well. Uh, in 2018, Impact Wrestling has brought in several top stars from Mexico and exposed more fans to Lucha Libre culture. I'm wondering what aspects of Lucha Libre culture would you like to bring more of into Impact Wrestling? ¿Qué aspecto de la cultura de la Lucha Libre quieres ver más en Impact? I, uh, uh, I, like, I, I like the Mexican crowd because never quiet but <laughs> yeah uh, this is one of the, my favorite things about uh mexican crowd because never quiet and uh the uh but but really the the impact crowd like in this week and the last weekends that surprised me a lot uh it's now i think uh when we go to mexico it's so fun but when we are here in vegas it's a lot of latinos people and uh And it's like uh, it's a mixed crowd, uh, American, Latino people. And this I don't now know. it's it's be amazing. I feel like I agree as well because um, the lucha libre crowd in Mexico cannot be you know compared to anywhere in the world. But I feel like a lot of the American public and everything now are really like seeing how excited yeah. that makes us and how excited that crowd is and that whole yeah. thing is translating now into. Um, In the impact zone, really. Ahora, solo para completar lo que dijo mi hermano, gracias a que los Lucha Brothers estamos en Impact Wrestling, eh, en México, cuando regresamos a México, nos estamos dando cuenta que la gente mexicana está viendo Impact. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cosa que nunca tú estuviste en México. Mm. No era muy común. Y tú sabes que nadie, casi nadie ve Impact en México. Mm -hmm. That he feels also that what he's really proud of is that, the, and that's Pentagon, um, that now that they have been on Impact Wrestling, that when they return to Mexico, they feel that the Mexican wrestling fans are now so watching, were. if the, we're now watching Impact Wrestling, whereas before they were not. So they're very excited as a public, like as a, you know, as fans to see that there's this crossover of talent and uh, you can be more proud of that. Yes, I think like uh, now in the world, like it's just one, one style, one, uh, one style uh, about wrestling. But I think now too in the every crowd, like example in England, uh, uh, like every crowd is different, but have a, some uh, taste. Uh, 
<laughs> ah, como el, tiene como el mismo the, the same flow. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. yeah that, like everywhere he, that he's traveled now in the world, he feels like crowds are are becoming more and more similar and more and more excited and more and more. I mean, wrestling as a whole is growing. So, he, yeah, all over the world, you know, everyone's getting a little bit of lucha libre flavor. <laughs> Oh, good, Ian? Oh, yeah, that's great. Thanks. Thanks very much. All right. We're going to go to a question here from uh, Davey <laughs> Forty. Davey Forty would like to know, uh, I know the, i got to be honest, I don't know where the second phrase is from. Uh, where did the catchphrase Animo and Cerro Miedo come from? Yeah. Donde sacaron su Cerro Miedo y Animo. Animo is Phoenix. Yeah. Animo, it's a uh, war. Uh, like, uh, it's like a power, it's like a... Excitement. Like, like excitement, exactly. This is, this is the word, and it's one of my favorite words in wow. Spanish. <laughs> Just like, example, like, hey, Phoenix, how are you? Uh, good, uh, see you later, animo. It's like, yeah, it's like, um... Well, sorry, sorry, sorry. No puedes decir groserías en el programa, pesado. Sorry guys, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, this is this is uh this is uh this is animal and cero miedo. What is cero miedo? Cero, cero miedo is. Ah, oh. uh, you're looking animal. You're, you're looking. Oh, Google translating. I'm doing a quick Google translate and animal is cheer up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah but it can like, be used in different. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like for example, it's like. Go get it. Yes, the yeah, excitement. Like a, but also, uh, hey, let's 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 go. Is, yeah, and, and if someone is sad, you could say like animal. 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 Like, animal. Like, 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 like people. Like people. Like hey, hey, bro, how are you? I'm good. Like I'll see you later. Yeah, animal, bro. So so basically, let me see if I get this right. I'm gonna use a little English and Spanish here because everybody knows we had our bowling championship yesterday, which we're gonna get to momentarily. If I said to Phoenix, hey, Phoenix, uh, animal, tu puedes. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yes. Just for that reason, it's my word. All oh, right. I said that because Animo, uh, I wanted him to get going, but uh, Phoenix did not win our bowling <laughs> championship. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to get that more. Hold oh, on, hold on. No, no. Let's just go. No. <laughs> <laughs> now. The champion. The champion. The champion. The favorite. The favorite. The favorite that rose, right? And and actually, yeah. <laughs> the favorite rose. Okay. The Cero Miedo is porque... En México dice, decían que el nombre de Pentagon estaba maldito. Uh-huh. Okay, so this is actually yes, this is a history lesson yeah. for our lucha libre fans. Pero se la vamos a recortar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make it short. So when, and this is a, this is actually funny because I knew Pentagon in his former character, and then he became Pentagon Junior, mm-hmm. and Pentagon. The original Pentagon, a lot of people said that when they gave Pentagon, uh, Zero Miedo Pentagon, the name, that it was like bad luck or that it was, it was you know, a bad omen. Uh, y mucha gente, fans, luchadores, amigos, creían que, que, no. que no agarrar al personaje porque estaba maldito. And, uh, and a lot of fans and luchadores and friends and whatever would tell him, you know, I don't think you should take the name because, yes. or, you know, you take this character that you're being given because of the bad history of this name and people will okay. not get behind it. Y mi respuesta fue solo una. And his answer was only one thing. Zero. Zero. No fear. Zero miedo. No fear. Walk in the face of fear. I will... <laughs> I will, I have a little story too about this. <laughs> I was there when so let's put it if you have to first not be a down tip. Okay. So I was there what the night that Dark Dragon, which yeah. was Pentagon's former character, became he came out as Pentagon for the first time. And I just remember him walking down the ramp doing his entrance and he was doing these hand signals. Which now are, you know, done all over the world and even at me at indie shows. People are like, Cero miedo, Taya, Cero miedo. Um, and I remember everyone in the back going, What the hell is he doing and what is happening right now? Because he was just 
doing his hand gestures and his entrance and creeping camera. like he does and his dance and whatever. So looking at the camera. Yeah, looking at the camera and doing Zarn Mayo. So it's pretty incredible that at the time when everybody was hating on him, he made this work. And now Zero Miel, I want to say, is one of the most recognizable hand signals and chants and or, you know, um, thing that people yell at one another in matches because everywhere I go, he does not have to be on the show. <laughs> and I have girls, guys, little kids dressed like him, yeah. okay. and he, they come up to me and they go, Taya, Zero Miel. And I'm like, so I know where I remember that first day when, that ha when he did that, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool. Pretty cool thing. Uh, hello, this is Angel from WrestleZone. Hello. Dot com. Hi. And, uh, hi. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is Angel Garcia from WrestleZone. Dot com. Uh, voy a preguntar en español para hacerlo fácil. Todo, güey. Eso es todo. Yo te atiendo a ti nomás. Yo te atiendo a ti. Uh, <laughs> Uh, es pregunta para los tres. Um, ah, yo les traduzco, no te apures. Algo para... <risa> <risa> um, yo pienso en muchas maneras que los luchadores que vienen a los Estados Unidos siempre son los mejor vestidos en sus equipos por la tradición de lucha libre de claro. estar cambiando como te ves cada ratito. Uh -huh. y la pregunta sería para los tres, eh, ¿de dónde agarran la inspiración? de la máscara, lo importante de la máscara y, o sea, de los trajes del equipo y todo eso. Ok. Bien, en, en lo cual... Voy, voy a decir en inglés para la gente. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right. Can I ask it again in English? Basically, the question is um, for all three of us that uh, he's asking where we get the inspiration for our Should costumes and our question. masks and, and all that kind of stuff because that is a very well-known fact in Lucha Libre culture that um, we Lucha take Lucha. our, yeah, sure. how we look very seriously. So, Penta. Ok. <laughs> eh, bueno, básicamente, la lucha libre mexicana siempre ha estado envuelta de magia, de, de ese misticismo que, que, que realmente nosotros los luchadores le tenemos que dar, ¿no? Como luchadores, precisamente, como luchadores mexicanos. Eh, cuando nosotros venimos a Estados Unidos, eh, somos la gran diferencia de todos los demás luchadores, llámese japoneses, americanos, eh, ingleses. ¿Por qué? Porque nuestra cultura nos permite usar ese tipo de atuendos vistosos, llamativos, brillosos, combinaciones, eh, con diferentes colores, diferentes telas, eh, el portar la máscara, todo ese misticismo que genera para nosotros los mexicanos es algo algo muy especial. Lo va a traducir está ya en inglés. So, basically what he's saying is that in lucha libre culture there's a lot of magic and mysticism and all this kind of stuff that comes along with the mask and tradition wait, 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 and costuming is such a huge part of that. I mean, so when they come from Mexico to the rest of the world, it's very obvious that they um, continue that tradition and um, carry that forward and make sure that they're very passionate about the way that they look and their masks because that is such a huge part of the culture of Lucha Libre. Sí, yo creo que todo eso es como una tipo herencia Uh, ejemplo, como los, los luchadores, nuestros profesores, nuestros luchadores uh, an, antepasados, es como al, es algo que te dejan ahí, ¿no? Que, que es como, es un aprendizaje de ellos el tener que lucir bien, el, 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 el brillar, el usar eh, materiales, bri, eh, lucir muy bien. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oye, so Phoenix is saying that, you know, that's something they teach them for, when they're in Lucha Libre School, too, is that. Um, to, you know, really take, make sure you're shiny, make sure you I look good. You wait, what is it they say in English? Uh, and that, um, that they take pride in their appearance because that is absolutely yeah, part of it. Yeah, it's one of the big things, uh, uh, where teachers and lucha, uh, old school luchadors teach you in the business. Like, you need to shine, you need to look real big star, you need to look like, like luchador. Luchador is like superhero, bro, just... You need to shine, you need a, your uh, ele elegant costumes, and that's, it's, uh, ayúdame, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, es como una herencia. Uh, like legacy. Dice la palabra, güey. Herencia. <laughs> <laughs> ¿No sabes qué es herencia? Heredero, güey. Hered like, look at Her it. Uh, no, sería más como legacy, ¿no? Como legado, güey. Ah, 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 ah
like the legacy. That legacy, it's yeah. It's a legacy. The, uh, live your legacy. Yeah, it's like a live your legacy. Like, uh, Básicamente, eh, lo que identifica a un verdadero luchador mexicano es la, el, la forma de, de usar el, el, el equipo, el gear, de máscara, eh, esos... esos eh, vestidos en este caso como los que saca talla que son vistosos con la, gran la colorido, capa de rey eh, <risa> la, la, Ay, gracias la, gracias la de Queen es lo que nos yo creo nos hace especial eh, no nada más en Estados Unidos sino en todo el mundo la verdad el el vestir elegante es el vestir eh, el imponer no a, eh, arriba estando arriba del cuadrilátero tanto a, a rivales como a, a los fans no, 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 yo creo que no es, no, no creo que seamos como los más elegantes o así. Yo creo que cada persona cuida su, mm -hmm. su I think everybody, every, I, I think, yeah, their, I think everybody uh, carries their, their character, their, and the their character, outfit. the gimmick. But I think like Mexicans, we go little, little top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, para mí. Aunque no soy mexicana, like you, I know. You are Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, a celebrity is basically where I grew up uh, in the wrestling world and the wrestling community, so uh, my influences are obviously from there, 120 billion percent, if you cannot tell. <laughs> but um, I have always taken a lot of pride in my costuming and stuff. I'd have ne I've never worn a mask, um, but I believe that evolutionizing your costuming and evolutionizing your ring gear and your entrance gear and creating something that is exactly that, mysticism and mystery and creativity, and that allows... All the the shinier the fabric, the better, you know. Like it's yep. just, it's you want people to look at you and go, oh my gosh, she looks yeah. crazy, or he looks crazy. She, she looks like queen. Yeah, or she looks like whatever, whatever kind of you yeah, know like uh, gimmick you have. But I think that that is a huge part of of this. I mean, even when I recently changed from jackets to capes, I was like, I need the shiniest fabric. I need, <laughs> I need the nicest stuff. Like it's very very important to all of us for sure. Uh, muchísimas gracias y la próxima que están en Chicago les ayudo con uh, las versiones de, en inglés. Uh, muchas gracias, gracias hermano. Saludos a Chicago. Uh, everyone in Chicago, thank you for the support. Gracias. Órale. Gracias hermano. Órale, raza. Gracias a ustedes. Hello. Saludos a todos. Les habla Joel Torres de Contralón en Puerto Rico. Puerto eh, Rico. Nada, ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? Todo bien, papi. Todo bien. Muy bien, muy bien. Gracias a Dios. Um, representando lo que es la cultura latina, eh, han tenido la oportunidad de viajar a diferentes partes del mundo. ¿Han tenido algún problema quizá de menosprecio o de racismo al momento de ustedes presentarse no solamente en el cuadrilátero en sus shows sino fuera de los shows con diferentes personas del mundo. Uh, do you want to ask the question in English now so that our English listeners? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Um, do you guys um, have had any racism, racism problems? You know, uh, when wrestling around the world. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have a couple, couple things in the past and the way, but really we don't care. Like, uh, we are, we're mine is at some point and we're looking for just, we know people, sometimes people not like your person or not like you, or maybe not have the same, uh, ideas in the mind, but uh, this is, that's well, like I come from, take my, my, my point, uh, I come to take what is I want I want to do, and really I don't care the people tell uh, bad things about us. I'm like yes, we 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 live uh, sometimes, but sometimes we did uh, we um, uh, we receive uh, really good uh, words about other persons. Like I remember one uh, experience. Uh, and I don't, I don't remember, I think it's Atlanta. In Atlanta, fue cuando salvamos al señor. Sí. Like, I, I, we come from the plane, and I remember, like, uh, uh, American people, it's in the, in the other, uh, in the other seat, uh, one side us. And 
I I know her too much, but these guys look at us like, uh, you know, like we're, and I don't care. Just we walk uh, out to the plane because we need to take the connection. And some man, old man, like fall fall out, fall down, and uh, he almost crashes with a elect electric stir. Oh, and the escalator. Uh, yeah, and the escalator. Uh, almost crashed on. Yeah, and it fell on the escalator. Yeah, and all his bags come to to him, and like we we run and we take the bags and we support the head the the the, the man, and the same guys in the same plane, the same people look at me where. Uh, after this, tell me, uh, you guys, you are really awesome. Mm -hmm. Just I mean, I think, like, I've experienced certain things, too, in, in, in reverse or whatever, however you want to word it. I think that everywhere you go all over the world, there's going to be people that don't like you or have an opinion yeah, of you or, or like... Yeah, or, or no like... Yeah, or, or, or where you're from yes, or trust uh, you or whatever it or is. No, but or, I, or no like, like, like a, lot of, a lot of times, like, we are brothers and when we are alone... We speak Spanish, mm -hmm. so people work uh, with us and here we, we, we speak Spanish and look at me weird, look at me like, ah, that's, I don't care, it's, it's my culture, it's my language, I'm so proud to be Mexican and, uh, and really I don't care when people think uh, bad things about me, just, uh, I like when, uh, I like when, uh, when sometimes I have, I remember other, uh, I am outside in the arena, just, I'm boring, um, I sit down on the floor, uh, and some guy come to me and look at me like, uh, what did you do it? I said, like, nothing. Like, come on, you can stay here. Like, why not? It's like, it's, it's a straight, like, Just sitting there. I'm chill. Uh -huh. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the same guy, uh, okay, just after the, on the open door, the same guy with her skis, skis come to my table, but now I have the, I have my mask on, and he say, he look at me, he said, no, please no, I say yes, <laughs> it's me, the guy that was sitting yeah. outside, the, 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 the guy tell me like, oh, you, why you do, why you be here, like, you can't sit down in the street like this, blah, 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 blah. these guys throw around in the building, he take his kids, he come to the meet and greet, and the meet and greet is the same guy in the floor, uh, try to be chill. Uh, I think people will always be judgmental and stuff like that, and I think that that happens all over the world to every single person, and we all just have to be proud of where we come from and and proud of the influences that we have on us. Like, I feel like I have influences from all the different experiences I have, and I'm sure that these two do as well. So, I mean, we can just be the best representation of ourselves and where we come from, tell our story, and, uh, you know... Lucha Libre and wrestling is a worldwide thing, so yep. everybody get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Right, awesome. Thank you, guys, and enjoy Las Vegas. Gracias, papi. Gracias. Hola, mi, me llamo Estefania. Hola. Uh, soy from Francia. From what? Francia. A oh, Francia. Francia. Whoa. Bonjour. Come on, Tava. <laughs> Hello, Taya. Bonjour. Huh? The French. Bonjour, French. Taya. Yes. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, that's the best I can do. So, okay, <laughs> my name. Is that was very good, very good, very good. From Theatre Magazine UK, but from France. Um, I had to. To cut, I was on the phone with a, a man, I don't think you know him, Johnny Impact. Ah. Uh, and I had to stop him because he was he was constantly talking about a woman <laughs> that is the sunshine of his life. So I had to stop him to be with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, hola, Phoenix, uh, Ipenta. Hola. Uh, it's an absolute honor to talk to you. Uh, my question is, um, where did, did you know about Impact Wrestling, TNA, uh, what the company was about, and um, was it a company you wanted to be a part of? And now that you are part of, what did you, what do you enjoy the most of it, and 
your favorite match since your debut? Muchas gracias. Y antes de abrir la empresa, si ahora que yep. estás aquí es como que es tu lucha favorita um, y si te gusta ser parte del Impact. Okay, uh, I'm Phoenix. Uh, yeah, we know uh, when we start with career and uh, lucha libre, uh, we watch we watching a lot of wrestling. We watching WCW. We watching uh, TNA. Uh, we know we know we know uh, we know the best wrestlers in the world. Uh, be here in the in Impact and TNA, uh, and just we wanna be we wanna be the the, the best in the world. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> we wanna be the best in the world, and I know we know we know uh, the best wrestlers in the world uh, take time here in Impact in Impact at TNA. Just we follow the the same way. Same just, path. Yeah, uh, this. Uh, <laughs> the same path. The same yeah. path and. Uh, just yeah 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 we know a lot uh about TNA about impact and uh about wrestling and yeah. i think i think uh my favorite match oh i never i never it's like so weird like i never have a favorite match because every match tries to be better so every match uh i have some special things for every match just i can say uh I can say my favorite match, but I really enjoy when I wrestle with my brother, when I wrestle with Austin Aries, when I wrestle with mi cuñado, Johnny Mundo, for the championship. It's a really amazing match, and I enjoy it a lot. And that I really I really have so fun time in, in, in Impact, and we feel comfortable, we feel happy, and we are Impact yeah. Wrestling. Y tú, Penta, dime, ¿cuál es tu lucha favorita? en tu tiempo aquí. La verdad he disfrutado mucho mi estancia en Impact. He tenido grandes... Yo creo que una de las más relevantes, obviamente, para mí, es cuando gané el campeonato de Impact. Uh -huh. que ganamos a Austin Orioles y a mi hermano. Obviously, like he said. Three-way dance. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> But he's had several very good moments here in Impact, and one of his favorite matches was um, in the three-way versus um, Johnny Impact and Austin Aries. I received the champion. Eh, yo creo que hasta hoy esa es la más importante pero todas las luchas que he tenido aquí uh -huh. las he disfrutado mucho por, I, por los grandes rivales que me han tocado that up until now like that might probably his most favorite and um, his most important but he believes that every single one of his matches Slam here Slamversary fue uno de mis favoritos Slamversary was one of his favorites um, that up until now they've all been you know he's just excited to keep moving forward and, and continue having great rivals which he has here at Impact Tarya, you're an amazing translator. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm trying, yeah, I'm are, trying. She This is your, your worst, your, how is it, your best job? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Muchas gracias, Bye. Merci. Bye. Hola en francés. Adios. Adios. Bye. 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 <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice cero miedo en francés? How do you say cero miedo in French? Uh, no fear. Oh, my God. Uh, cero miedo. Pas peur. ¿Cómo? Pas peur. ¿Eh? Pas peur. Pas peur. Pas peur. Pas peur. Pas peur. Yeah. Thank you. No fear. Cero miedo. Bye, cero miedo, ánimo. Muchas gracias. Hey guys, uh, this is Riju from Sports Kira in India. This is actually a question for all three of you. How do you keep your lucha underground personas different from your impact wrestling ones? And a quick follow up: Is there anyone in lucha underground right now who you think would be ideal for impact wrestling? Well, before uh, we uh, have Taya translate that, just so you know, Riju, we have no updates yet on when we're going back to India. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, let me translate. ¿Cómo es difícil tener como la idea de dos personajes y cómo lo hacemos desde Lucha Underground y Impact Wrestling? 
Um, y si hay alguien que yo, tú pienses que puede estar bien en Impact, que ahora es mucho underground. Yo voy a empezar y después de ustedes okay. me dicen. For me, I think that I try to think about it, and I've answered this before in, in interviews, is I like to think about it as the Marvel and, and, and the DC universe. So I, there's things that work on Lucha Underground, and there's things that work in Impact Wrestling. So um, I don't think it's, it's that difficult because you're just set a different set of, you're given a different set of cards to play with um, and different characters to interact with and different rivals. So um, it makes it very interesting, and it keeps us on our toes, and it makes us have just another outlet for our creativity. Um, as far as... Um, who I think would be great on Impact, I'm going to say my very good friend Mariposa would be pretty fun to have as a knockout um, for me. I, you know, that's, yeah. my, that's my given right yeah. there. Lucha, uh, Lucha Under have a lot of talent. Yeah, there's just, like, so many people over there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if that's how I feel about keeping my tires separate. Any? <laughs> yeah, just... Um, have two different uh, gimmicks and two different companies. Like it's, I don't know. For for me, uh, I don't want to say it's easy, but I try to to do the same feeling and uh, uh, the 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 same guy, the same Phoenix, and every company just like. Um, yeah, I think just like that. Yeah, right. That just that the histories. The stories, the stories, and and stuff are so different within Impact compared to Lucha Underground. Yeah, exactly. It's not that it's easy for him, but that it's it's just your set, just like I said. It's you have two different sets of cards, you know, exactly. and two different stories, and uh, that's how you can really keep it separate. And that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, igual. La verdad siempre. Eh, Lucho con el, la misma pasión, con el mismo entusiasmo, con el mismo poder que, que en Lucha Underground. Sí, como lo mencionan ustedes, las historias son distintas, uh -huh. pero ahora estamos haciendo yo creo que la mejor historia que pudimos haber tenido que es de Lucha Brothers dentro de Impact Wrestling. Queremos ser, eh, la, somos la mejor pareja del planeta y lo venimos a demostrar a Impact Wrestling. Oh, he's got to say so much stuff all at once. Um, so he agrees with what we said, that uh, the different um, stories and stuff like that really keep things separately. But he thinks that the best story that he's doing right now is with his brother, as a Lucha Brother, and being the best uh, tag team that they can in Impact Wrestling and the world. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. You're welcome. All right, well, we're going to get uh, a handful. I got a, a lot of emailed questions in, so we're going to try to shoot these pretty pretty quickly here. Uh Manny Best wants to know, what is your favorite movie? What is your película favorita? My favorite, my favorite movie is uh, Beautiful Life. La Vida es Bella? Ah, es la mía también. Ah, they both have the same favorite movie. Beautiful <laughs> yeah. Life. Uh, beautiful Life. Taya? No, diga, pero las que ves en las noches. They're really, really bothered. They're really, really picking on me over here. Why? I, I mean, I don't know. I just, I love Toy it. Story? Toy Story. <laughs> triple A movie? No. Yes, triple I love a good romantic comedy. I lo and, uh, you know, like Pretty Woman and some classics like that I think are great. Uh, oh. so, ah, yeah. Good one, Helen yeah. <laughs> L. would like to know, do you watch any other sports? What are your favorite teams and who are your favorite athletes? She has other tipos de deportes. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, I like I like too much uh, soccer and I like playing and uh, I think NBA I like to basketball, basketball. Uh, but uh, when I when I be in lucha libre I really lose every other sport. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I bef yeah, really before before I I have my favorite team uh, about soccer in Mexico and an example like Barça and. Uh, and the, the champion leagues and all this, but now like my mind, my myself is a hundred percent uh in in wrestling. I like watching uh, soccer. I sometimes I watching some games, but now I don't have a favorite teams. Just I can say after after wrestling, uh, NBA, uh, basketball or soccer is one of my favorites. Y tú, Penta. ¿Ya puedo hablar? Ya. Yeah. <risa> ya no puedo hablar. <risa> número uno, lucha libre. Esa es mi vida. Es de lo que... Number one, number one, lucha libre. Pero tengo dos pasiones extras. 
que son deportes. Ay, sí. Y me gustan mucho. Ay, te... Ay sí, ah, dime. Huevo. <risa> Fronton. Uh, ah, no sabes qué es eso. No ¿Qué es eso? El, aquí, como le dicen, es como racquetball. Racquetball. Pero, pero en with México, a with a hand, pero handball. 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 We love to play handball. Eh, y eso es como el, that's, el deporte que me gusta después de la lucha. That's the reason why here's Chuck so strong. <laughs> <laughs> a, yeah. a, a mí me gusta jugar el handball pero con la pelota como si fuera de baseball. Like a with, you like to play with a baseball ball. You like to play handball with a baseball ball. ball. And I can tell you that the, those chops it's really hard. hurt, by the way. It's hard. It's so hard. <laughs> I play in two so hard. And after? Si pudiera, si tuviera menos edad y tuviera menos chubby. <laughs> <laughs> and if he could and he was younger and he wasn't so chubby. <laughs> Me gustaría montar toros. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like bulls, you know the like PBR in USA? PBR. I know. So yeah. he wants to ride bulls. If, if yeah. Freddy would ride bulls. Oh my gosh, I did not know. <laughs> this is, this, hey guys, this is the real, uh, this is Pentagon. This, this is, is Pentagon. We should yeah. listen to the style of yeah. music yeah. that he likes. Oh my God, that's another question. Yeah, anyway. it's crazy. Hi, right, we'll go to you real quick for the uh, favorite sport, favorite athletes. Who do you like? Please, you. Well, duh, I'm Canadian, so. Hockey? I, hockey? Hockey, uh, I love the Calgary Flames. I know you. Uh, I, know you. <laughs> I used to go to Calgary. I lived in Calgary for 10 years, so I love the Calgary Flames. I also love the Vancouver Canucks, obviously. Um, but uh, your favorite team? The, the Calgary Flames or the or the Vancouver Canucks? Ah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Y de y deporte mexicano, ¿cuál te gusta? I think that, okay, my favorite Mexican <laughs> sport is what Pentagon is asking me. I would say football. <laughs> <laughs> so soccer. What is your favorite team? America. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because it's the only team I can remember. <laughs> America is the team everybody hates Mexico. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I don't. I don't. I don't understand why. I, it's because the only team I can remember right now, and, and the only next. live soccer event, football <laughs> event that I went to, because Mexicans take their soccer very, very seriously, yep. was an America game. So that's why. Well, we we also do want a, uh, a quick answer from all three of you. David Pittman would like to know if you were not a pro wrestler, what would you be? Uh, before I wanna be a rapper. <laughs> Just, nope. Maybe I'm not. Yeah. Maybe no. Maybe no wrestler, uh, I'd be a rapper. Phoenix really loves hip hop. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y tú, si no fueras luchador. ¿Qué serías? Montador de toros. If yeah. 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 yeah, I know. Ben Zagon says if he wasn't a wrestler, he's just looking at me and nodding, he would ride bulls. Yeah, right. Which is just so crazy. funny to me and crazy. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, for me, when I was growing up, I, uh, I always wanted to be a ballerina and an entertainer, and so. Oh, yeah, and now Phoenix is dancing around the interview room. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I always wanted to be on stage. I don't, I don't know. I would be on Broadway. <laughs> Hola, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Carlos de Indie Pro Wrestling, IndiePW.com. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, ¿y ustedes? So, mi pregunta para ustedes es, antes que te doy la pregunta, hoy hace 13 años que murió y falleció Eric Guerrero, Así es. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pueden decir ustedes de la memoria de él? Yo tú, lo, lo único que puedo decirte es que fue, es, será uno de los mejores luchadores que ojos han visto. Sí. En, es, ya, mi pregunta. Es una gran inspiración. Es, es la verdad, es, es un, un ejemplo a seguir, el señor Eddie Guerrero, su carrera. Yo creo sí. que Eddie Guerrero, para todos los latinos, no nada más mexicanos, eh, él abrió una gran brecha dentro de su negocio, dentro de wrestling. Él fue el que le dio credibilidad a los latinos en Estados Unidos. Eh, de ahí te puedo mencionar mil nombres, pero yo creo que él es como el, el, fundador. el fundador o el pionero en este negocio de los latinos en, en el wrestling. Y pues bueno, nos hemos comprometido nos sentimos con la responsabilidad del de, de legado que él dejó de alguna forma, ¿no? Digo, nosotros los que estamos trabajando en, en todo el mundo como él lo hizo, 
eh, sí. no nada más en México. Yo creo que nosotros tenemos ese gran ejemplo a seguir como lo que dejó Eddie Guerrero. Tenemos sí, una gran cierto. inspiración. Eddie Guerrero es una gran inspiración para todos. Every Latino <laughs> wrestling and uh, oh, a I lot. I feel like he's influenced a lot of people, uh, Latino wrestlers and wrestlers from all over the world and in the lucha libre community and apart from that. Um, even for me, like I remember, I saw him live in Calgary at a house show, <laughs> and I remember that he was like the one person that I remembered specifically. I remember absolutely everything about his performance, um, and I think that him, his family, um, and you know like his counterparts like like Rey Mysterio and everyone, um, just influence us always, always on a daily basis, and uh, we have a lot to look up to in yeah. the Libre community. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you for everything, Eddie. Y, y a la pregunta que tenía para ustedes, si puedo, uh, ya que están aquí en América uh, siendo parte de Lucha Underground y también de Impact Wrestling, ¿cómo le ha ido la carrera de ustedes cuando ya vayan para atrás a México? Que no se escucha bien. ¿Cómo? ¿Qué fue el último que dijiste? Sí, ¿cómo te ha ayudado tu carrera ya haciendo tu estilo aquí en América, uh, peleando con las compañías como Impact Wrestling y Lucha Underground? Ok. Yo creo que es... Ok, la pregunta en inglés. Uh, the question is... Um, that's my brain. So the um, question... <laughs> yes, um, that uh, now that they're working in Impact and Lucha Underground, um, and, you know, how has it affected your work outside in the world, like, in, um, you know, in Mexico and in the rest of the world? Uh, yo creo que es una ayuda mutua, no nada más las empresas hacia nosotros porque al final de cuentas nosotros somos los que ponemos la magia arriba del cuadrilátero, ¿no? That it's helped them immensely, but, um, you know, to translate um, their style and to evolve as wrestlers around the, you know, around the world and take what they've, I think they take what they've gotten from Impact and Lucha as a gift and they're trying to represent it the best way possible. Sí, se nota. <laughs> y uh, muchas gracias por el tiempo de ustedes y que la pasen un día hoy. Gracias. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, I, I do want to say. Okay. Well, uh, media, I do want to say this has certainly been a very interesting, informative, and educational uh, press pass podcast today. We, we're trying to do a little bilingual. I'm not completely. I'm sorry, familiar. Ross. You gotta you gotta step up your Spanish. Well, no, I was gonna say I really up. don't. I, I'm not great in Spanish. I, I know a few words. I know campeón. Yes, campeón. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Spencer, could you? Could you? No, no, no. Could no, 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 you help no, 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 me? Because good. Campeón. Campeón. Yes. Oh. Campeón. The reason I bring that up is the champion because yesterday our VIP program. Don't don't. His head is getting bigger. Look at it. Featured bowling. <laughs> we had. LAX, Santana and Ortiz. We had the reigning, defending bowling champion, Conan. We had Phoenix. And we had Pentagon. And it wasn't even a, it wasn't even a battle. It was, I don't want to say it was easy, but Pentagon ran away with it. Pentagon, the champion bowling, congratulations. Your thoughts. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to let him. I wasn't even at this bowling event because Ross knows that I am. Not only bad at mini golf, but very bad at bowling, right? Do you, you know, okay, so. But. Ty, <laughs> you know, I've, I've said this on the podcast before. I've even said this to your face, so I'll say it once more. Arguably one of the worst miniature golfers I have ever seen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And. Pero, ¿cómo te sientes ser campeón del bowling? Te voy a decir una cosa. Que tiene zero miedo. No, aparte. Oh, ah, okay. Y quiero que lo escuches con atención. Ajá. Y se la comuniques a todos los que están escuchando. Ajá. Bueno, dile con más fuerza, por favor, que no se escucha nada. Nada más les demostré a Conan, a Ortiz, ¿cómo? Santana. Santana. A mí no, yo no quise competir. My brother me, me, me said, he, no, 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 no. Okay. no. He's saying that he was trying to show Conan, Ortiz, Santana, and his brother, Phoenix. <laughs> ¿Cómo se juega el boliche? El boliche. How to really play el boliche, which is bowling. <laughs> so, Taya, can you ask me, I want to know about the trash talking, particularly between Penta and Conan. There was a lot of uh, showmanship uh, yesterday at bowling. Oh, man. ¿Por qué estabas hablando cosas? 
quizás yo estoy pensando que son cosas feas. Um, tú contra Conan. Mucho bla, 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 bla. Ah, esa es una rivalidad que tenemos en, del Bolichelli. Yeah, the heat. Porque they have, they en have Orlando, de, de la en Orlando, who win? ¿Me? Conan. Conan, Conan me ganó. Ajá. Pero porque le di chance. Me dio... Me dio ah, ok. So, he said this is a long-going rivalry since Orlando when Conan actually won... Um, the bowling championship, but Pentagon says that he let him win, so uh, now they have a lot of trash talking. Ahora ya estamos uno uno, necesitamos la revancha. Yeah, there needs to be a, 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 a third one because now they're they're one and one. They have said that when we are back in Las Vegas, February 15, 16, 17, that Pentagon will put the bowling championship back on the line. <laughs> so I'm gonna practice so I can take your championship, Yahweh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, again, media, thank you very much for calling in. Uh, certainly in a, uh, a, a great podcast today. This Thursday, Impact on Pop. Brian Cage defends the X Division Championship against Sammy Callahan. Penta, you certainly have a little history with Sammy Callahan. Yes. Uh, Puto Sammy Callahan. Oh, perdón, perdón. Es que me, 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 me prendo cuando oh, dice yeah. ese nombre. Uh, Matt Seidel against Johnny Impact. I won't even ask Taya what she's thinking on that one. Johnny, Johnny. Cam Johnny. Yeah, come on, what up? <laughs> KM and Fala, uh, trying to impress the smoke show, Scarlett Bordeaux. Phoenix, have you tried to impress uh, Scarlett Bordeaux? No. <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't. Okay, all right, well, uh, KM and Fala Phoenix against... Phoenix only needs Pentagon. <laughs> yeah. uh, KM and Fala against LAX Thursday night. We got Sue Young in action. We got Tessa Blanchard in action. We have Eli Drake. Uh, a packed show, my we'll, peak. We'll be there uh, very quickly. Penta, I'll give you the first word to wrap it up for today's Penta. ¿Qué decir? ¿Qué quieres decir a la gente para decirlo? Adiós. Para despedirte. Despedirte. ¿Qué le... <laughs> <laughs> Muchas gracias. Estamos muy contentos de estar aquí y de estar con todos ustedes. No, no, no. no, no, no ya no voy a decir sería. Eh... <laughs> Thank no. you to everyone, and he's happy to be here. Cero miedo. Cero miedo. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for the podcast. And just enjoy wrestling, and thank you for your support. Um, see you soon. Thank you for your support. Yeah, and uh, thank you, Ross, for having me as your co-host. I hope I did a good job. Mm-hmm. Uh, my translating uh, skills, I hope, were up to I'll, par. And thank you to everybody who is listening um, and continues to support us. You can follow Phoenix and Pentagon on social so media. Congratulations for, for your new work. Oh, <laughs> you can follow Phoenix and Pentagon on Twitter and Instagram, as yeah. well as myself, um, to keep up to date with everything that's going on, and make sure you're checking out Impact this Thursday night on Pop TV. Yeah! Tell you, you're better than Josh. There wasn't <laughs> even a question. You're back every week. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, bye, guys. All right, media. Back next week with our, uh, well, we'll only be in English next week. Sorry, sorry, Pence and Phoenix. Anti, yeah. But thank you to all uh, three and media. We'll talk to you next week. Q&A session is over. Goodbye. This is the Wrestling Epicenter. For over 15 years, we've brought you the top names in professional wrestling for exclusive interviews. Everybody you see here has been interviewed by our site. But we're more than just interviews. So be sure and check out WrestlingEpicenter.com for news, results, information, and of course our store. WrestlingEpicenter.com, your number one source for wrestling information.